In this lab demonstration, I'm going to show you how to configure a 5 gig PLTM local traffic manager to send logs to QRadar SIM, right? So it's very uh, real quick lab demonstration. So let me jump to CLI mode of FIPIP LTM and TMSH to get into traffic management shell. And the command here is modify system syslog and remote servers. So you can head down tab key for command completion and then add right any name so f5 ltm sys log and then host qradar ip sim ip address right remote port default port is 514 so 514 is the port number, right? So modify sys, syslog, remote servers, add, and even you can add multiple uh, uh, servers here, any name, F5 LTM syslog, and then host IP and remote port 514. So 192.168.1.15, is the IP address of QRadar SIM, right? And you, you'll have to ensure IP reachability between your F5 big IP LTM and QRadar or SIM server. In my scenario, F5 big IP LTM external interface IP is 192.168.1.245 LTM IP address and QRadar IP address is 192.168.1.15, right? So they both are in the same network, no need of any gateway or routing. So just head down, enter, done, right? And uh, to save configuration, run save says config because whatever configuration we do from CLI, not saved automatically. And configuration done from GUI mode, right? GUI mode automatically saved. So don't forget to save the configuration. Configuration is now saved, right? So saved in bigip.con file, the main configuration file. All right. And see here, QRadar is receiving messages, right? Linux server, F5 big IP term. So basically, uh, log source is automatically detected, right? Uh, by this IBM QRadar. So sometimes it takes like uh, uh, five to 10 minutes. And in case not detected automatically, so even we can create log source manually also so you you can see here like the source ip coming from 192.168.1.245 f5 big ip ltm right and um, it's like just a standard log message 15th of december 2022 and what i did let me access server one more time i'm accessing the server here there may be different pages some error messages maybe, right? So you can see here like logs, like collected by QRadar, right? And here is like HTTP and let me stop this. And HTTP 200, okay. And you can further do the verification, your the raw data in fact, f 5 ltmnet right and uh, even if i just show you the log source here log sources so log source is automatically 
detected. So how is the name is showing here like Linux server, but a five LTM dot netted, right? Success, syslog, Linux OS, like basically TMSH is built on like this free distribution. And you, you can see here like it's automatically discovered, right? Auto discovered a five big IP LTM is the log source identifier. So generally we don't have to create log sources manually, but in case if log source is not or detected, not identified properly. There is some issue with the DSM that is device support module. Then yes, like you can go ahead and you can create log source here, right? Source name and description. You can select the appliance like F5 from the list here. F5 ASM, you'll find F5 uh, 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 LTM, ASM, APM, AFM, right? So there are different like log source type source identifier uh, like either the host name or IP address of the log source that is your F5 big IP system protocol yes is syslog event so protocol perfect like syslog right so this way we can create log source but in my environment in fact uh, R2 update is working properly and R2 update is just to uh, update uh, uh, DSM modules right so DSM modules are regularly updated to ensure that QRadar can correctly interpret and parse security event information that is provided by external devices, right? And in case if you want to uh, do the updation manually, then that is also possible as like just click here, get new updates. So like updates are like here. And in case if let's say I want to install this Cisco umbrella DSM, select and then install from here right select selected updates and uh, let me show you update history so a lot of like dsms already installed on this q radar and the whole bunch of you know like uh, like dsm we can see here a very long list in fact right so uh, most of the time uh, we don't uh, uh, you know like uh, even can we find something like uh, 14 it uh, failed and one installed and maybe some reason Cisco yeah Cisco also you can see here right a lot of uh, DSMs here installed and failed right this one is Cisco firewall device DSM similarly you will find here f5 so installed successfully f5 network APM, this one I believe ASM, right? So if DSM or device support module is already installed on IBM Q radar, so rest assured log source will get detected, identified by IBM Q radar. Sometimes like uh, takes uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes, just wait for 10 to 15 minutes still you uh, like see here like unknown source or unknown log sort of thing then yes like time to you know like create log source manually then right so here like I, I can see HTTP in progress like already access and uh, uh, even we can create rules for like uh, to trigger some offense here right 